Uh, shit, I hadn't made it to the shower yet, man. <laughs> it's 8.30 now. It's an hour ago. Mmm. I've been sitting in here fooling around trying to get a bunch of my stuff moved over onto... Mmm. Mmm. Some of these USBs. Get rid of some of it and try to save some of my stuff, you know. Because uh, that... Uh, let me go ahead and delete this because I don't have to worry about it no more. We're gone. Oh, Lord. Yeah. yeah. It's got all my personal information on it. Yep. So you get that off there. And then, uh, uh, I don't know if all y'all know about them uh, computers and old school stuff, but boy, you can pretty real. Oh, I'm tired. Mm. You can pretty well own somebody. I mean, you can um, shut their computer down, do all kind of cool stuff. And pretty much what I got right now is somebody is constantly uh, putting mine in sleep mode. Yeah, either that or what they do is uh, make the battery think the battery's uh, dead. You know. Then you gotta go through the whole process of taking the uh, hard drive out. Yeah. And then plug it in, take the battery out, take the hard drive out, and then plug it in, let it come on, let it go through its little BIOS thing, and then tell you no media. <laughs> and when it does that, you just uh, turn it back off and put your hard drive back in and it should crank right back up for you. Yeah. Well, mine does anyway. I've already been working my way around all that stuff. Mm. Yep. Well, what I used to do, I used to, uh, <laughs> it's pretty wild. But those, we played with each other over there on, and it pissed you off real fast, like. <laughs> but uh, I knew a lot of people on Yahoo, and well, it's a lot of hackers where we used to get into all kind of websites where we get the videos you know they weren't free memories yeah I used to fool with all that long time I used to build computers and stuff I've been in it ever since DOS yeah uh, let's see, it was DOS 6, and then 622 came out, and then uh, after that, uh, Windows 3.1 came out, and after Windows 3.1, you know, I just, I started at ground zero is what I did in the 90s, uh, yeah, used to, it was just all just a black screen, and uh, you had to do uh, typing and stuff, and use trumpet and stuff like that to get on the internet, and well, it really wasn't the internet then. It was just, it didn't have like what it is now. It's uh, AOL, we really wasn't fired up then. It was uh, BBS boards, bulletin board systems. Yeah, and pretty much you paid like uh, $30 a month and you get on there and uh, well, you could talk back and forth with people and then you had X amount of credits to be able to get on the internet and go uh, look up documents and things like that. And then, well, porn is what uh, created the internet, really. I mean, it really and truly did. Um, other than that, it was pretty much just documents for lawyers and doctors and banks and stuff like that. And well, when porn hit the scene, uh, them doctors and lawyers really liked that. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> well. Well, it just exploded after that. It started. It took it a year, uh, maybe two or something like that. And that's what it took. Well, yeah. I think that was 94 or 95. 94 or 95. It's when I uh, put my first mobile home up on that eight acres in uh, Birmingham, Tarrant, Alabama, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Yep. And uh, me and old lady, we met a lot of people. Boy, I got a story to tell y'all. <laughs> that bring back memories. Hold on. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny, and it's going to be a long one. <laughs> but uh, 
needless to say, we, we met a lot of people on the BBS boards, you know, and went to parties and hung out with them, you know. And that was really cool. Well, we went to this one party, and I, I can't remember what it was, but I told them, yeah, we'd be there. And uh, her, well, the chick's name was Queen Bee, and I can't remember what his name was. Uh, I can't even remember what their real name was, you know. They'd come over to our house a couple times. We barbecued and all that, and we all hung out. And when we went to their house, I can't remember what. It was some event. I'm thinking like New Year's or Fourth of July or something like that. Well, I told them I was going to be late because uh, me and old lady, we hauled ass. We went and uh, juking. We went to the bar and went dancing and stuff like that. You know, we just loved to dance. Just loved it. And uh, after that, I stopped, bought a bottle, and we went to their house. And man, there's this big old girl. And <laughs> I mean, she was big, and she was really blown away, and uh, when I got there, uh, she had done, uh, gotten so drunk that she started getting sick, you know, so we run her off into the bathroom, and man, she was standing in there in that bathroom, and then had one of them sinks that mounted on the wall, with, and the legs were not there, and she ripped that thing off the wall. <laughs> His whole basement and everything flooded out. So we we got her into the bed in there, and she was stinking so bad. I mean, she just she got sick all over everything. You know? <laughs> so we put her in the bed, and then the next thing you know, it, it got worse. So <laughs> we rolled her up in a big bed sheet, bed sheet, and took her out and laid her on the porch because nobody, none of them people wanted to take her home. They, I didn't know really know anything about what was going on, but. They took some damn carpet fresh and sprinkled all over and kept partying. Yeah, somebody eventually came around and got her, you know, somebody, because we was downstairs trying to stop that damn plumbing. I mean, it flooded out the basement, and he, then we had to cap it and everything. And run the house, get the torch and all that shit. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. But I had a lot of fun uh, with that in, in them days. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Wanted to do that a few times with Yahoo, but we never really fooled around with it. We didn't have time. I mean, it's, you know, it's, things started progressing and moving forward, and, and it was crazy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you can pretty much own somebody with uh, just by getting their IP and stuff like that, man. It's uh, you can make your CD ROM pop in and out for them, open and close, and you can shut the computer down. You can even fix it where that thing won't even come on anymore. Yep, it's just driving crazy if you wanted to. <laughs> I had fun, and I don't fool with that anymore because it's, that's childish stuff, you know. And these things cost a lot of money, and I, I went through several of them at one time, and I'm just not into that no more. Oh, I meant to tell y'all, uh, by the way, I got my pup tent up. <laughs> well, I got a little heat going. Man, I need it. Oh, Lord, my raisins are hitting. Well, it's empty. Lordy. Uh, man, tomorrow's going to be a good day for me. I'm, I'm glad the tractor's running. And, well, I got that carburetor back together. But, uh... I just barely have to crack the fuel valve on it so it'll let it fill that bowl up and then crack it, uh, crank it and then crack it just a little bit more so that fuel bowl will stay, you know, just keep trickling off in that fuel bowl. <laughs> it don't suck it dry. The damn thing will run. And it ran for about, uh, well, I was out there about four hours. So, um, you know, Ashley kept coming out there and seeing me, and I asked her if it was on. It was around 6 o'clock, and she said, yeah, and then she came back around 6.30, told me uh, it had shut off. Well, I was okay with that, too, you know. Uh, it sucked it dry is what it did. It sucked that carb dry. Mm. So I'm on the hunt for a Nikki carb for a 10-horsepower uh, Briggs & Stratton. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, alright y'all, peace, enjoy, nanny nanny and shout spot and all that other good shit. And, well, I hope y'all have a good day tomorrow. I hope it's all good for you. Man, I'm ready for this cold weather to end. I know y'all up there in the cold. I'm 
thin skin, boy. I've lost so much weight now. I'm down to 120 pounds. 120, 20. I weighed this morning. It was 124, 125 pounds. That's where I'm at now. I'm about 45 pounds underweight. <laughs> And so I get cold real easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm in my thermals and everything. Well, yeah, I'm I'm ready to jump in my snowmobile right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I got problems, but I deal with them and I'm good with it. I mean, shit. <laughs> you only go around one time, so you might as well make the best of it. Don't complain. And don't bitch about it because you never know, you know. <laughs> I wish I had a beer. I wish I had a drink. And boy, I could smoke a joint, but I ain't got nothing. <laughs> Been a rough week for me. I mean, I, I can't get cut. Well, today I got something going. It's, it's That's what's... Well, this is only Wednesday, so I still got tomorrow and Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So I got time. I, got, I, got, I can get a lot done and just... Few times. Oh, I, it, I did. Uh, Frank and Tiller works great, man. I put me some extra lowers on that thing for plowing. And boy, she she cuts rows too. Now she's a row cutter. She she tills and cuts rows. <laughs> it's pretty cool because I got out there and flew with that yesterday. I, I well the northeast garden I did because Angela's out there putting the kiwis in, you know, around it and. Uh, well, I fertilized it and everything. I'm getting it ready it's so that when I get in the ground, it'd be good. Mm. So turn all that under. And I did the one over here by the kitchen, too. I've got both plots done now. And the plants are just growing like crazy. Can't wait. Can't wait to get them in the ground. So uh, we have some good grubbage coming. Y'all enjoy.